choice for this Action Force Valaverse action figure and its corresponding gear set. I would not recommend it. But just for the base action figure, if you want a Arctic Warfare Commando or a Trooper, then here is a solution. Don't get the gear sets just the action figure and the older action force valaverse gear sets you could use and mix and match with this kit bash or this modification just to the base action with figure. the application of ultra powerful nail polish remover you could take off the paint on this action figure so the boots the knee pads the elbow pads and the green parts on the shirt but the handsets they're going to be green molded plastic mint green molded plastic so recommendation well you could apply a little bit of um, nail polish remover and somehow they're going to whiten out just a little bit but they're still going to be a little bit of green or mint green but it's going to be bearable so, but my recommendation if you want a really white trooper um, swap out handsets on this action figure for one of this okay so let's take in the action figure right, so let's do a quick 360 view of the kitbash version of the arctic warfare republic guard or let's just call this the cold weather trooper <laughs> okay so as you could see I already removed about 99.9% of the mint green color on the boots I think I still need a round or two more of acetone with those boots okay so knee pads the green mint green color is gone elbow pads the main green color is gone so with the shirt and the sides of the shirt but the belt line I retain the color of mint green so that is not the Arctic Warfare Republic Guard gear set that is Delta Force gear set so I'm using an older version or variant of the gear set which is associated with this action figure not the one that is uh, supposed to be of the same color so as you could see it matches well i applied acetone on the handsets and they have whitened a bit so i think a round of two more with acetone is going to whiten out that glove handsets and I already modified the Delta Gear set to have all of the pouches up front. So especially the radio, we transferred it to the front. The same thing I'm going to do with my deluxe set of blowback, the sniper set. So I'm already transferred the rest of the gear up front. And I noticed also one thing with regards to the blowback deluxe set it does not have the medical kit or the medical pouch so that's the thing that you also have to include with blowback just in case you want to have a hundred percent complete action force valvers gear set for that action figure in its tactical configuration okay so the headgear i'm using a delta force uh, delta gear set headgear i mean and i included a night a pair of night vision goggles and instead of using the green peltors at uh, peltor attachments i used the gray peltor attachments and the head unit instead of using a um, arctic warfare republic guard headset or head unit i used a deluxe blowback head unit so it's going to complement the green color of the vest and the 
belt. So it's not going to be a monotonous action figure wherein it's majority all white. Because if you're going to use the Arctic Warfare gear sets, especially the tactical variant or the Delta, the white Delta gear set that, that is associated with this action figure, it's just way all too white and mint green. Bad color combo. <laughs> but with this color combo, Olive Drab works. Okay. So the backpack, this is from... G.I. Joe Classified Series Outback, so with the shovel. Of course, if you're going to a cold weather environment with lots of snow, you have to build your fighting position, you would need a shovel. And with regards to the backpack cover, nothing very fancy, just pick your choice of uh, either Target, Walmart, Walgreens, or whatever grocery bag is out there that is in white color combi uh, in white color like this and just wrap it up uh, wrap it up around the bag so that's the evidence <laughs> nothing really fancy anyway this part is hidden so that's knowing that that's not going to be a source of annoyance and as you could see it works well acts as a weather deterrent or snow repellent for the contents of the bag so all of the contents are going to remain dry especially ammunition and electronic items Okay, so let us do a physical assessment of the Delta Gear head cover or the bump helmet. So that has white camo cover on it. So what is that? Actually, it's going to be this. So it's 3M Durapur tape. This tape is made of cloth just make strips out of this and apply it to the helmet and actually it covers all of the helmet oh there you go just strips instead of looking for a clothing material to wrap around that helmet unit And I also used tape on the shoulder pads of the body armor. And my recommendation for taking out the paint on the boots. First use a hair dryer to take out the boot set. So disengage the two parts of the boot set, the foot and the shin and that's when you take off paint by applying nail polish remover to the two parts of each component so that's going to work well for you instead of um, taking out the paint while the boot set is on the action figure plus you have to really rinse out the acid of these two components every time you um, swipe it with um, this solution because it's going to eat the plastic or it's going to burn the plastic so just lightly apply and then wash with water lightly apply apply again take off paint and wash with water let's take a look at the weapon system so chris vector from action force valvers so this is how you get the Chris Vector in a gear set or a weapon pack. So it's going to have that extended barrel. So what I did was to cut out that barrel. So this is the new one. And actually this is how it looks so you have two configurations with this crease vector 
so that muzzle end actually belongs to the weapon system of flint or what remains of the shotgun of flint <laughs> so i just cut off this section and glued it to the front end okay so we have a point of comparison so you have an extended um, version and you have a cqb version or a more portable version and if you want it suppressed so this comes from uh, which action fi uh, gi joe classified series figure is this from the cobra officer i think anyway so but i'm sure that this comes from uh, gi joe classified series i already forgot so whoever knows or remembers which um suppressor this um thing or the uh, from which action figure this suppressor is issued to just um post it in the comment section okay so suppressor applied once again with 3m durapor tape so what's your word durapor okay go and then attach it to the muzzle end of this new version of new variant of chris vector there you go so let's take out the standard issue from action force valvers to compare and then if you want a non-suppressed version there you go So this is going to be my G.I. Joe snow job in my G.I. Joe display or collection and to partner with my Blizzard. So if you like this kit bash video review, like, comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review.